Hello, Mr. Nguyen here. Welcome to Dragon Ball Tenkichi Tag Team, but it has a new mod. So I loaded the same old save I used in other playthroughs with free battles. So this is a mod that turns the, the game into Budokai Tenkichi 3, but it's a new mod released very recently. I found a video today, uploaded today, a few hours ago, that uh, had the link to the mod and everything. Okay, so the mod is uh, uh, different from the other. One thing I don't like about this version of the mod is that it doesn't have the damaged models seen in the other mod. But everything else looks better in this mod. For, for, for the, first, the first thing is that the stages are much better. We have uh, uh, stages that are not bugged. There are no bugged uh, skies. And uh, you can stand on the ground, so the fight will not just be in the air. So the, and the stages look beautiful. Also, they have managed to add every character from Tenkichi 3, and not just some of them. So we have every character and every transformation. And unlike in Budokai Tenkichi 3, and its hack, I believe classic to DLC hack, where they added skins for... for uh, pretty much every single movie and and uh, extra chapter of the show I mean they had like skins for the minor soldiers of characters like Lord Slug and Turles and uh, Boyak so all their minor soldiers etc but they were still used skins in, in other words models but using the same uh, like moveset of the main characters for example if you had a skin of Turles uh, no, a skin of Goku. Then, then he would still move like Goku and speak like Goku. But in this uh, mod, they have managed to add unique movesets for every unique character. So if you have, uh, for example, Vegeta, and then you have four different skins for Vegeta that are different characters, and they have added unique movesets for each of those four characters. So when you start a battle, using uh, the same Vegeta character but with the skin of uh, a different character then, then he will have the moveset of that character and I don't believe that was possible in Tenkichi 3 but in this mod it is possible so this is a more impressive mod it also has all the giant forms and such and also you can select giant forms in the selection screen for a different character than the one uh, that has the basic form but when, when I selected the basic form of the character, he could still transform into his proper transformation. So they have somehow managed to make the game load the right transformation and the right movesets and such. I believe Tag Team is the more modable game compared to Budokai Tenkichi 3. But Tenkichi 3 was still very modable. You could change, uh, replace all the skins with models. And you could uh, unlock for example, team battles 5 versus 5, um, where you could unlock so that uh, everyone could, uh, could use the same character multiple times and such. But this, this is more impressive in terms of uh, giving unique movesets to each uh, like skin slot and such. Okay, let's start the game. So the characters see that we have these three different Gokus, if we take the basic form of Son Goku, so he looks different, and then we have uh, Super Saiyan Goku, we have these two skins, so one is damaged and one is not, then we have Super Saiyan 2 Goku, and we have Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Goku sharing a slot, they have different, like, uh, colors, if you take color 1, we will be Super Saiyan 3 Goku, color 2 means we will be Super Saiyan 4 Goku, 3 and 4, I don't know, they might be the same, or unused. Okay, then we have, um, um, like, Vegeta from the Cell Saga, Late Cell Saga and, and Blue Saga. You can select normal Vegeta from each saga, and the fourth skin is uh, Baby Vegeta, different character. Then, if we select this we will instead be Super Saiyan Vegeta, the, the same different skins and we have uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta from Dragon Ball GT and Baby Vegeta is gone and then the final one we have uh, like uh, Super Saiyan 
Nitro Vegeta and Super Vegeta, depending on who you choose. And then we have Baby Vegeta in an transformed state. Scouter Vegeta, color 2, and King Vegeta, his father, on color 3. I don't know about 1 and 4, they might not be used, or they are the same. Here we have Majin Vegeta, and Baby Vegeta in a different transformation state. So the cool thing uh, with this game, un unlike Budokai Tenkaichi 3, is that they have added all the unique moves to each character. So if we select color 1 here, we will be Majin Vegeta and have his moveset. And if we select 4, we will be Baby Vegeta and have his moveset. And they are completely different from each other. So they have managed to add not just skins and models, but, but their unique moveset too. The only thing they couldn't add was unique, unique voices for each uh, area. So everyone shares Vegeta's voice, I believe, if, if they are based on Vegeta. But unlike in Tenkaichi 3, they at least have unique movesets now. Alright, um, <coughs> Go on. Don't know if we have any alternate skins, alternate versions of Go on maybe. Okay, Kid Go on. We have Teen Go on and GT Goku. Super Saiyan Teen Go on and Super Saiyan GT Goku. Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Teen Go on. Okay. Here we have Adult Son Go on. Uh, from the future, that is, I believe the first one is normal adult and go on from the normal timeline, and the other one is adult go on from the future, where the androids have killed everyone pretty much. Then we have Super Saiyan go on of each of them, and then we have Super Saiyan 2 normal go on. We have um, Ultimate go on and Great Saiyan Man in this, uh, uh, on this character. And they have completely different movesets too. We have Teen Trunks. And, uh, and we have uh, Tapion. If we go to this Super Saiyan uh, transformation, we have uh, instead of normal trunks, we have Super Saiyan Teen Trunks and Super Saiyan 2 Trunks. He replaces Tapion. This makes me worried that Tapion will transform into Gohan. Because in this game, unlike in Budokai Tenkichi 3 for the PlayStation 2, you cannot um, deactivate transformations. This means that this version of Trunks will transform into Super Saiyan Trunks using the same slot. And Tapion might, in the worst case, transform into Super Saiyan 2 Trunks. No, I mean Super Trunks. He's not Super Saiyan 2. He's stronger than Super Saiyan, but still not Super Saiyan 2. Okay, so there's a risk that Tapion will transform into Trunks, but uh, hopefully they have fixed that, because as I said, uh, the Pilaf machine transformed into its proper transformation when I used him, despite not having his transformation as an upgrade, so they have somehow connected him to the upgrade, despite the upgrade being available as a different character, so uh, maybe Tapion won't sh change into Trunks. If in the worst case he will. Then we have <coughs> the, the more powerful Super Trunks in his normal form. He can transform into Super Saiyan Trunks. And we have Ub, and he can transform to. We have Kid Trunks and Gotenks, the fusion between Trunks and Goten. We have Super Saiyan Kid Trunks, and we have Pilaf. And as I said, this Pilaf can, can transform his transformation, despite not having the transformation here, very weird. So they somehow managed to mod the game to do stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, some Goten and Kid Goku, and Go Goten can transform into Super Saiyan Goten. Okay, then we have Piccolo, so color 1 is normal Piccolo, color 2 is also normal Piccolo with a different look, but they didn't add the, the one with the cape, which is a uh, I think that's bad. Uh, then we have Nam, or Neil, Nail actually, he's named Nail, the one from Namek. And then we have King Piccolo, uh, the evil King Piccolo. They have different 
movesets from Piccolo. I believe King Piccolo and Nail have different movesets. Here we have Krillin, we have Jairobi and we have Master Roshi comes in. Different movesets. Tayen or Tension Han and Nam. Different movesets. We have Shotsu and Rale. Rale, by the way, is a main character in a different manga and anime. Named Dr. Slump, I believe the creator of Dragon Ball, Kira Toriyama, created Dr. Slump first and then created Dragon Ball, and then she was included in Tenkichi 3 as a extra guest character. And now she's in this mod, she wasn't in Tag Team. They're using the same models in this mod as in Tag Team, the same stages. There are fewer stages compared to in Tag Team, uh, compared to in Budokai Tenkichi 3. Otherwise the graphics are very similar, but we lack the moving mouths and the blinking eyes of the Budokai Tenkichi 3. So the PS2 titles were better in terms of graphics because they had better animations for characters. Uh, in this game they do not blink their eyes and they do not move their mouths when they speak. But otherwise I believe this mode has succeeded in giving this game the same look as Budokai Tenkichi 3. You cannot destroy stuff on the on the stages, so that's a little bit boring, but despite that, I think they have succeeded very well. We have Yamcha, Kaishin and Kibito as different characters here. We have uh, Vido and her transformation, Great Saiya Woman, which wasn't in the official tactic game. I believe Vido was, but not her transformation. Then we have Pan and Kid Chichi. We have Bardock and Turles. <coughs> Super Saiyan Gotenks and Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And we have the upgrade of PLF Machine, PLF, PLF Robot. And uh, as I said, he could transform into this uh, pink machine despite not being the character in the area below. So normally you need to have a character here and then he transform into the one over here. But for some reason, PLF machine could transform from this area, uh, despite his upgrade being all the way over here. Very weird. Then we have Super Saiyan Vegito. Here we have Super Saiyan Gogeta. Ordinary Vegito and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Gugita, I mean. Uh, here we have Raditz and Super Saiyan Broly and I believe the Garlic Jr. in an upgraded form. I don't know the first one. Here we have Nappa, we have Lord Slug and we have Android 8. Their own unique movesets. Here we have Cyberman, we have uh, Bardock in his Great Ape form, uh, the Great Ape form of Super uh, of Son Goku, and the Great Ape form of uh, Fasha, Bardock's female companion, or soldier. Then we have, uh, uh, I believe, uh, um, don't remember his name. We have a pool on two. Pi Pi on 3, Cyborg Tai on 4. I believe this is Sui. They have diff different moves. We have Sarben, Android 13, and Ordinary Broly. Then we have uh, Transform Sarben. And the Great Ape Vegeta, which is an upgrade or transformation state of um, Scatter Vegeta. <coughs> and then we have, I believe, um, Great ape form of one of the Saiyans, I believe it's King Vegeta, his ape form on 3. And then we have Broly's ape form, or Baby Vegeta, so I think it's Baby Vegeta. Yeah. Then we have uh, the Doria and Garlic Jr. Every tomb of the Guinea Force, and we have Spopovich. He wasn't in this game either. It, that's good that he had him, then, then he can be used against Chichi. 
I mean, I guess Vidal. Okay. A Birther of the Guinea Force, and we have one of the Shenlong. <laughs> Dragon characters from GT. We have Yace, Yace of the Guinea Force, and we have, uh, uh, I believe, uh, uh, a guy under uh, Cooler. I don't remember his name. Says or some, something. Nays. I, I don't remember. Then we have Guldo and I believe uh, uh, Babidi, the, the sorcerer. Okay, and we have Captain Ginyu and Dr. Velo, giant brain inside of a robotic body. Then we have Frieza, Cooler, and Meta Cooler. So Cooler is the brother of Frieza, and Meta Cooler is a new version of Cooler. Okay, as far as I understand it. And um, Frieza can transform into all his states. Transformation 2, 3, uh, final form, and ultimate form. Uh, Cooler can transform into his normal ultimate form, and then uh, I'm worried that he will transform into Frieza. Uh, but maybe not, because he has no intry here. He will probably remain his ultimate form in this transformation. Uh, and here, uh, yeah, there's a risk that Cooler will turn into Cyborg Frieza and then into Tambourine, which isn't good. Then it would be better to place Tambourine in the Forge slot so he doesn't uh, become an upgrade of Cooler, or to place Cyborg Frieza in the third slot so he won't be an upgraded form of. Uh, no, we don't want him in a third slot, then Meta Cooler will turn into him. But uh, there's a risk that um, Cooler will turn into <coughs> Cyborg Freeze and then into Tambourine, unless they have fixed it somehow. Maybe they've modded that in some way to prevent it from happening. It's not possible to disable transformations in this game, unlike in the earlier game for the PS2. Liberty Tech H3 was a PS2 game released in 2007 in November, and this game was released in October 2010. The mod is very recent, it's from like a few days ago. But anyway, hopefully, Cooler won't transform into Tambourine and Cyborg Freeze. I've seen that in other mods that used skin slots where they had transformations, where they changed the character based on. For example, he had one character here and another one here, then, then the character over here would turn into the one over here. Yeah, which would be bad if they are not supposed to turn into that character. So for example, I had a mod where, uh, I believe, Cloud or Tifa turn into Cell or something. Okay, <coughs> Cloud and Tifa from Final Fantasy VII, of course, it was a crossover mod. Okay, then we have this character. So we can be a Frieza Soldier, we can be Mr. Satan or Hercule, we can be Grandpa Gohan or Son Gohan, which is the adoptive grandfather of Goku, and we have Kamsunina and Master Roshi in a transformed state. We have Dr. Gero, creator of the androids, and we have uh, uh, the ultimate form of Shenlong, I don't remember its name. We have Android 19 and General Blue. We have um, Android 18, we have this girl and uh, from uh, one of the movies, and we have the girl from Bardock, the father of Goku, Fasha. I know she has another uh, name too, Celipi, I believe. I say Fasha. That's how she was named in the game, in the European version of the game. I don't remember the other one's name, Sangyu Sang or something. I don't Android 17 and Super uh, Android 17 from GT and Android, 9, uh, Android 16 and this character I don't remember his name and we have Cell, he can transform into Imperfect Cell Perfect Cell and like Ultimate Perfect Cell or whatever he's named and then we have Devilman there's a risk he'll turn into Android 13's transformation and then turn into Boyak then turn into the transformed state of Boyak. 
Hopefully that isn't the case. And then on the third slot we have Lord Slug. He will not, he will not turn it anyway. We have Cell Juniors. We have probably Reddits in a Great Ape state. And Turtles in a Great Ape state. And we have uh, Dabu Dabra. Demon King Dabra. And we have Transformed Great Ape Nappa. We have Lord... Uh, Yes, but no, we have uh, King Cold, Frieza's father, and then we have this uh, Renlong guy again. Didn't we have him? Yeah, we had him here too. He might be a transformed stronger version. Then we have Majin Buu, or Yanemba, his first form. Here we have only Broly, Super Saiyan 2 Broly, or Super Saiyan Broly. We have Super Boo and Evil Boo and Transform Super Boo. It go and transform in slot 1 and Gotenks absorbed in slot 2. And then we have Kid Boo, the strongest version of Boo, and Transform Janemba, the strongest version of Janemba. And we have this giant monster that I don't remember. Uh, I believe he was named Hirudegarn. He's probably from a movie from GT and that's the characters so they managed to add pretty much every character from Dragon Ball Z Burka Tekichi 3 which is highly impressive and even more impressive is that they added all the unique moves for the characters so the only thing missing is the, the sound and voices because for example uh, all three of these characters will share Android 18's uh, like uh, voice and lines so you won't have Sang Sangya's or Fasha's voice in the game. But at least we have the unique moveset, so they won't all have uh, Android 18's move moveset, which is good. Uh, and yeah, the stages are better too. Let's check some battles. I like that they've added all the characters and improved the stages and have a nice UI. It's really impressive. And that they can transform into characters that are not in the same area when you select them. That's highly impressive too. Okay, so this game starts in Dragon Ball with Kid Goku. So we'll pick three. Default. And his friend. The early game. Probably be Yamcha. That Yamcha doesn't fit. I think we go for Shichi. So we do not have Kid Krillin. I don't remember where she was. Was she shot soon? I don't know. That's, that's uh, a Rala. Ah, Vidal. So four is Chichi. And then uh, their enemies. Let's see. Peel of Machine makes sense. Devilman would fit well. 
Hopefully won't transform. Okay. Okay. So we have the normal stage. Grass stage. Unfortunately in this mod we have the vanilla music of Budokai Tenkaichi 3 released in Europe and in America. The music of Europe and America. We do not have the show music that was used in the Japanese release of the game. The, the TV show music that the other mods use. We have this stage, we have the stage, this is the stage where the Sea Fighters fight Nappa and the Cyberman. And this is the stage where Vegeta duels Goku. And this stage is the stage, I believe, where uh, the Sea Fighters fight uh, Android 17 and Cell and such. Prior to him becoming Perfect Cell. And uh, this is the stage of the flashback where androids kill the sea fighters and also stage some other battles and we have Namek the Namek and Saga all the battles there and another one from Namek the spaceship of the sea fighters um, yeah and then we have the destroyed Namek stage final battle with Frieza we have this stage the road where the sea fighters fight android 17 and android 18 Vegeta versus android 18 then we have the Cell games, uh, the final battles between Cell and the Sea Fighters, Mr. Satan. And then we have this stage, like the Ultimate Go on stage, where, where they fight Boo and Babidi and the others. But we lack a tournament stage, and we also lack any stage based on Dragon Ball. So we only have Dragon Ball C stages here. And because we had fewer slots for stages in this game compared to the uh, kitchen tree. And uh, we do not have the Frieza spaceship stage. So we can't play there with, with the Bardock team or Bardock and Fasha or Celebi. Okay, so the best stage for Kid Goku against uh, Pilaf and... Uh, Someone else, I think that would be the desert stage. Goten, hide behind me. You better hide yourself, sis. Yeah, they have the wrong voices. The issue with the graphics when starting the game it used to have a weird issue where you blinked and, and you saw like the menu pop in and out during the intro. Disappeared when I changed to DirectX 11 to DirectX 9. But you need to use DirectX 9 to play uh, the CD Final Fantasy or the CD I do Destiny 12 Final Fantasy, or it will crash. And not just uh, it crashes ra randomly in battle, and not just uh, the game will crash or the emulator, but the computer would restart. It was really annoying. So I, I will change it back whenever I want to play. Do this in 12, but this game works well with DirectX 11. I believe the graphics are slightly better too. Uh, so, uh, with every game, I, st I uh, <coughs> recommend using DirectX 11 over DirectX 9, with the exception of Dissidia. And do this with Dissidia. You need to use DirectX 9 for it not to crash randomly in battle. You might manage to play one or two battles without it crashing. But and sooner or later it will crash and then in my case on a Windows 7 the entire computer restarted so. right so we have uh, Kid Goku and uh, Kid Chichi versus Devilman one of the evil guys in the Dragon Ball Saga one of uh, the witch uh, Baba's champions they have to fight Pilaf, the robot, he is one of the evil guys too in the Dragon Ball series. <coughs> we'll see if they will uh, transform. I, I know that Pilaf can transform into the giant robot uh, in this game, despite not having the giant robot in the same selection area. Yeah, look at this. Pretty cool. No, he did some move. I don't think he transformed. Forgot to shut down the timer too. So the battle is on time. 
the 65 seconds at least is decided. I will change that. stages look much better on this mod in this mod compared to the other mod. The only thing I miss from the other mod is the damaged models of Android 18 and Vegeta and some others. I really like when they look damaged or bloody and damaged clothes and such. But anyway, despite that I think the stages in the sky is much better here. Still cannot def destroy the stages but they look much better. Do not look glitched. And the characters look better too. Battle is over in 7 seconds. This battle won't count because I forgot to turn off the timer. Yeah, the models look better too. Same, I think it's 3 models. They look better. More high resolution. Try the same team again. Uh, okay, so we'll change that. No time limit. Just change the music. And I will need to pause here. Okay, see you soon. Okay, I'm back. So, uh, <coughs> we started the battle. As you can see, the stages are beautiful. I've never seen as beautiful stages in this game. Dragon Ball Z, then get you tag team for the PlayStation Portable using the PPSS PP emulator. It's 10 times the resolution of the PlayStation Portable. 10 times the graphics pretty much. We are using X10 scaling here as compared to X3 in PS2 on the PS2. Okay and the models look way better than in, in the other mod that I played. I believe uh, I didn't use X10 in the other mod. I used 10 uh, X11 I believe. So um, I believe even the other mod would look better if I played it now but the model still looked way better here than in that mod despite using the same models the, the background stages are much better I saw that the skies were totally glitched in the other version oh so Kid Goku can transform into Great Ape Goku in this mod despite not having the transformation um, visible when I select them so they somehow managed to connect the transformations with the right characters without having them selected in the same screen which is real cool Pilaf can also transform into the giant robot but I hope there are no instances of for example devil man transforming into Bojack or something you'll see <laughs> I never played this version of the game before, this mod. So a video on my YouTube channel, I am subscribing to a, sp a certain Spanish user uh, who uh, uploads new versions of mods for Tankage Tag Attack Team. And this one caught my attention because it said Budoka Tankage 3, my all time favorite PS2 Dragon Ball game. And uh, yeah, I'm interested in mostly. Mod mods for Tenkichi Tag Team that are like Tenkichi 3. <coughs> I, I am not very interested in Dragon Ball Super and its characters. And most mods are based on Dragon Ball Super. First of all, I think the, the style is inferior. Uh, looks worse. And also, I haven't watched it or read it. If there are a manga, I don't know. But I haven't read or watched the, the Dragon Ball Super manga or anime. I've, I've read uh, all of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and I've watched at least the Saiyan Saga and the Freezer Saga. Okay. I've watched 
watched a bunch of movies recently. I watched, I believe, the five first movies. Because I did videos in Think It's a Tree. Okay, I will probably watch the rest too and make similar videos. This game will certainly be used to make videos. Like I'm doing now. <coughs> Usually I won't speak in videos because they are just battles trying to um, show off the battles of the movies or the TV show, the manga. Uh, but in this case I wanted to speak because it's a new mod, very new. The video was uploaded a few hours ago, today. And the mod probably uploaded recently. This mod has so many characters that it's almost the same as playing on, on the PS2 title. Uh, the difference is that in the PS2 title, when a character loses a beam struggle, they will change model into a damage model. That doesn't work in tag team. They never change models in the game, except transformations, of course. So they can transform, but they cannot change into their damaged forms. They do, they do not have their damaged forms in this mod. So that's one difference, but unfortunately in Burkatakechi 3, they only allow damaged models to be shown if you lost a beam struggle, unlike in Tenkechi 1 and 2, where, where you just change the model whenever you got low in health so I prefer um, how, how, how it was in 1 and 2 where um, when the character had low health he would automatically get a damaged model uh, because in 3 it's impossible to make the damaged model show up for certain characters because they never uh, get damaged because they never lose a beam struggle because they do not have a beam attack for example Weedle doesn't have a beam attack, so she can't lose a beam struggle. And if she can't lose a beam struggle, then she can't uh, become damaged. Well, in Tenkichi 2 and 1, they automatically be uh, become damaged when they lose health, when they reach the final health bar. Uh, in this game, however, we have the same num numbers of characters and transformations, so, and we have two player mode can play 2 versus 2 as we saw, we can play 1 versus 3 and uh, we can play 1 versus 1. So this game is more interesting in that sense. Well, but I think it 3 still looks better because it has moving mouths when they speak in the intros and the extros and it has blinking eyes. It looks slightly better with the characters and it has more stages playable too. And uh, <coughs> Also, I kind of prefer the music of the Japanese version, and this version has the, the European and American version in terms of music. Okay, I didn't pay attention of who won that fight, but it doesn't matter. Any character that isn't in this game, but is in the Budokatakichi 3 game that I am playing, is a modded character, it's just a skin. Because <coughs> there exists a game, I believe, from 2015 or something, that added like models of the same style as this game and the Budoka games. Yeah, it was like based on cards, you played cards and then, then the models would do certain moves and such. And uh, they added like over a thousand models, so pretty much any model was available. And the models have of course taken models from there and added skins to the Burkating Each games and to, to the tag team mods too. There are many tag team mods with super modded models, Dragon Ball Super, which is a later, I believe, arc of Dragon Ball. Let's start it. 2015, I believe. And I've never watched, but I have played some of the mods with those models. I believe one mod I played on the YouTube channel, I believe Dragon Ball Z Tag Team. No, Dragon Ball Tag Team 2, I believe. Okay. So, what else do we have? We have. Uh, yeah, we will take Goku again. Kid Goku and. 
the and we'll take a rally shot to the enemy still be peel off peel off machine and we can use general blue better in this mod and it has an amazing number of characters so they finally managed to add everything in terms of characters and transformations from Budokai to KG3 and make it work one bad thing is that you can't destroy stuff on stages like in KG3 I believe it was possible in the original tag team game, but for some reason when they replaced the stages with Burgating KG3 stages, um, they end up not being destructible. But had they kept the old stages, then they wouldn't have been the same as in KG3. And the mod uh, aims to be... Oh, we saw there, they can destroy them. That's cool. There's just not uh, as many structures. But they are destructible. That's cool. And I have no complaints other than the fact that this game lacks the damage models of characters. So you'll never see them bloody in the game. And with the damage clothes and such. They also didn't like to change the, the way that worked. In Third Burgundy KC3 game. They wanted uh, everyone to be damaged when they low, uh, low on health. So that's more realistic. Some people say that, yeah, but uh, in, the, in the show and in the manga, they usually end up bloody and damaged whenever they are hit by Kamamaha or other special beams and ultimate attacks. But otherwise, they do not get bloodied. But that doesn't. Uh, it's not correct. In, in many physical battles where a stronger character fights a weaker character, the weaker character will be blooded. For example, the battle between Goku and Vegeta, or Vegeta vs. Android 18. Uh, they are bloody and they do not use ultimate Kamamahas or anything. So to make themselves damaged, they are damaged by their feasts <coughs> and kicks. So, yeah, I think they did a better job in the first and second game when it came to damage models. Maybe they just wanted to limit the, the models, because it was a bit violent. Maybe they wanted uh, to be more kid-friendly, I don't know. Modern games do not have damage models at all. It's probably because they wanted a kid-friendly game. That's also something I think is bad with... <coughs> the, the new game, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, an RPG or problem game, released in 2020 for the PlayStation 4 and the PC. Uh, one thing I don't like about that game is that uh, you have an open world, like a, a Grand Theft Auto game with the civilians moving around and everything, and you can't speak to anyone except very few important characters, and you can't speak to the ordinary people, you can't interact, and you cannot kill them. It would have been fun to, you know, like in a Grand Theft Auto game, play as a villain and just uh, kill every guy that you see. I mean, it's a game. It doesn't need to be kid friendly. Especially since the anime from the 80s and the early 90s and the manga, the comic book, uh, was uh, bloody. They, they 
did kill a lot of people in, in the manga and in the anime. But in the modern games, they are not allowed to kill anyone for some reason. They become uh, child friendly. Uh, they were child friendly already by, back in the 80s and 90s, but the, <coughs> the term child friendly or kid friendly has changed. Back then it was okay to have really violent and bloody content for kids. Well now, I believe that uh, they view things differently. <coughs> it's no longer okay to have bloody and violent stuff in, in children's cartoons, for example. I believe when it came to the cartoon, they had to censor stuff because it's against the law to show blood uh, in children's shows. So that's because of a law change, but the games, I think, should be fine. Uh, unless it also concerns games for kids and they want Dragon Ball to be mainly a kid game, I don't know. <coughs> but yeah, I think they did a better job. Uh, like in 2007, 2006, 2005. And then they included damage and blood and such. And imagine what you could do in Dragon Ball Kakarot. If, if you could uh, do all the stuff you can do in Grand Theft Auto. So, so I don't like that they have like put limits on what you can do. You have an open world, you have civilians, you have everything. You have cars, you can drive cars in it. But you cannot do anything to the, the homes or citizens or whatever. You cannot go wild, which is a bit of a waste. Yes, uh, it would be correct to the Dragon Ball lore at least. Okay. So this game, well I think it's a cool game, and a fun game and uh, the mod is really cool. The problem with mods for this game is that they are ISO files, ROM files, so it's legal to host them on ModDB or other modding sites, usually you find them on Spanish sites. Because the, the Spanish, they do not care about copyright. There are a lot of old torrent sites from uh, Spanish, like people, that they are totally in Spanish. And they've been around ever since like 2008 or 2006. So uh, Spain is one place where you find a lot of um, illegal games and such. Maybe not Spain, maybe it's Latin America, or maybe it's uh, Mexico. They say the Spanish world, Spain, Mexico, South America. <coughs> yeah. So they, the mod, uh, yeah, they, they host a lot of uh, illegal ROMs that have been modded. Of course it's not illegal to download them if you have the bought and paid for game. If you do not have it, cancer is illegal. But it's not allowed uh, to. You're not allowed to post the, the the mods anywhere because they are including the whole game, but in a modified state. So uh, that's the problem. They they are only available on the internet if you search on Google or Dragon Ball Z tag team mods or on YouTube. I'm sure you will get some results on YouTube. There's been mods ever since like 2015. I started uh, trying out some mods for this game in 2021 or 2020. I've not been into mods for Dragon Ball C uh, before 2020 at least. Okay. <coughs> I did, uh, <coughs> I did play this game, the original game, back in 2010, okay, and the other games way earlier, like in 25, 26, 27, 22, 23, 24, so between 2002 and 2007, I believe, I played the PS2 titles, and be between 2010, I haven't played a lot of Dragon Ball since 2010, but in 2010 this game released, so I played it back then. 
Okay. Yeah, but I think we won't do any more videos right now. <sighs> If I do more videos I might not speak in them, we just do battle videos, like with other games, but this mod is really cool, highly impressive, recommend it, we could do one more video, do Bardock, and uh, his friend Aisha, Fasha, versus believed Doria who killed all of their team and his friend Apple and we'll click OK and we'll fight on uh, I think Namek would be a good choice Looks so much better here, and I love that the uh, issue with the intro has been fixed for now. What? Under 18. Must have clicked wrongly. Took uh, color 3 when I should have taken color 4. Uh, okay, we'll take color 4. We'll also change the music. You're kidding me, you're still alive. I'll start you, Doria. This is really cool. By adding stages and characters and movesets from Tenkechi 3, they've uh, managed to enable four player for Tenkechi 3, which is really cool. It's like playing Budokai Tenkechi 3 with four players. Which is cool. <laughs> so in the movie, we didn't get to see the fight between Bardock's team and uh, the Doria's henchmen. Bardock instead arrived at the scene when they were all killed, and uh, one of them were dying, I believe Tora was dying. And then Bardock defeated all of them easily. But in this game, he will fight together with Fasha against one of the Dodoria henchmen, Pearl, and Dodoria himself. So many of these movesets weren't in the tag team game because the character weren't here. For example, the moves of uh, Fasha or uh, Selfie weren't in this game. Same with Apple. It's really impressive that they've managed to add not just the models but uh, the moves too and add them to skin slots and then manage to connect uh, characters to transformations like they've done in this mod very cool no idea they've done it I know that there exists like a tool in Spanish for modding either Budokai 3 or the tag team you need to understand Spanish to understand the tool there is a similar tool for do this in 12 and fancy, but it's in English, so I, at least I understand how I can do stuff there. It's harder when it's in Spanish, and I don't understand Spanish. So I should make an English version of that too. Then I might actually be interested in doing my own mod. Then I would certainly take this mod, and then I would replace the language so that it would be English instead of Spanish and then I would or Japanese or Spanish or whatever it is and then then I would replace all the unused model slots for example I would not have the same Android 18 in two slots 
instead of gonna the damage form of her and others in unused areas. So that uh, instead of having two similar models, we have the damage one as an option. But in order to mod this game and the Burka 3 game, I would probably need to understand Spanish <coughs> or translate the tool. It's just a little bit annoying to do. So the, the, the Dragon Ball Z mods are uh, often made by Spanish modders, Latin American modders. They are the, the most Dragon Ball crazed fans. Almost every mod is made by uh, Spanish modders. Much better graphics in this mod. No bug in the intro either. Cool, you can have uh, these characters fight together. The only thing that would have been better was if they had uh, new characters <coughs> of the hack for Burke I think it's three, but it's probably possible to fit all of that into this game. Okay, we will play that battle again. So we will use Fash or Selfie in the first slot. Then we will use Bardock in the other slot. Number two. Okay, and a different stage, a different song. They remove the loading screens, but that's fine. I think. Maybe you can help me kill some time. Okay. Get rid of your old ones. Selfie or Fasha was one character I really wanted in the tag team. Because it was cool. Cool idea having Bardock fight together with Fasha in the same battle. You know, in Bulk I think H3 it's not possible to have tag team battles. Instead you have uh, battles where they show up one after the other. So only one versus one, but where the man is defeated, the next one shows up. In this game they fight all four at once, which is certainly cool. And now the graphics are the same as in Bulk I think H3. With the exception of the fact that they do not move their mouths or blink their eyes, that's the only minus in terms of graphics. The lack of damage models is a minus too. So the, the game got censored because they probably thought damage models were needed. That makes the battles less realistic. I know they are not realistic, but. You still want to see damage to models after a battle, I mean, come on. It's, it's, uh, they should at least have a, a blue eye and a few torn apart clothes and such. Okay. Even the skills have better, like, sprites or graphics now, explosions. Fair if they had English voices, but at least the mode has English text. It would still be wrong probably with English voices. Maybe it's better to have uh, voices that we do not understand, because uh, this character Air Fasha will probably speak like Android 18 and it would sound weird. So 
by having different a different language, at least I don't understand what Tree is saying. And then I can just read the text anyway. Get the proper dialogue. <laughs> I know that the PlayStation 2 is slightly stronger than the PlayStation Portable. Yeah. And that the final game for the PlayStation 2 was released in probably 2009. We do not count some sports games that were released later, maybe in 2011. Now look exactly the same as in the other game without moving their facial features, they are not blinking or speaking in the same way, but they have good models now. Okay. So the, these guys won. Let's let them face freezer. anything that to break the bottom here yeah, it's under 18 lines freeze actually spoke to his partner servant it's pretty cool really improve the graphics of tag team and nothing to complain about in terms of its graphics now doesn't look like an older version of the Metal Gear Solid 3 looks very similar stages even look better because of the resolution problems with the PlayStation 2 emulator PC 6 to emulator Freeza might transform into one of his transformations too. That's fine. He didn't do that when he fought Bardock in the anime, but he could have done it. He didn't need to hit one shot the, the anime. Even the like uh, blasts etc. look better here. Increased in 
enhanced all the graphics of the game. It's like a new Dragon Ball game on the old engine. It's like Budokaiten KC3 on the old engine. And perfected still. Without bugs and glitches. Freeze a spaceship down there. As Freeze a spaceship is at this stage. It's, it's not available in space. Freeze did transform into a second form. form amazing <laughs> that they could just import all the moves of uh, Look at the KC3 to this game, despite them not being made for this game at all. It shows that this game is very similar to Look at KG3, and that uh, the same files must have been used. They could just simply import them. Oh, and Fasher can transform into a great ape too. Really cool. She had too little help there. It's a unique moveset as an ape too. Pretty matched. Ah, uh, Frieza has English voices, same with Sorbon. Well, Fash or Android 18 spoke in Japanese. Yeah. Either they have forgotten to change the voices for some characters or they kept them for the ones that made sense and made the rest Japanese so no one would understand that they, they have the wrong voices I don't know voices in battle. So maybe it's just a uh, mistake. We forgot to remove the voices for some, or, or they kept them in on purpose. This is kind of cool to hear Frieza speak to Sarban for a battle. Like if they are speaking to each other. Sarban transformed. I think Bardo can transform into Great Ape too. So everyone here can transform. <laughs> Just a frame that Duodism 12 and Fancy didn't have. CPU vs CPU mode like this game. Most games do not have that. It's nice to just watch very hard AI versus very hard AI. So I, I am not good enough to be as good as the very hard AI. The, the videos will be more epic if you let AI fight itself. 
instead of fighting yourself. Frieza is now transformed into his third state. Now final form Frieza. Second last form. He also has ultimate form. Or ultimate power form. <coughs> problem with these mods are that they, they are modded ROM files, so the entire game would be included if it's uploaded anywhere. That's why they are not available on any mod site and only on the Spanish-like sites. Much better when we do not have the intro glitch. Okay. Wonderful graphics. I don't know about story mode, how bug it might be. Let's try it. Dragon Walker. 